It is suggested that students save their answers after each question. This is because the quizzes in my courses do not save their answers as they take the quiz. If, for example, you have a 50 question quiz with all the questions displaying on one page and a power surge or disruption in the student's connection occurs, the student will lose all of their work if they have not saved the answers. To prevent this from happening, and having, is having a certain number of questions per page will help. As students move to the next page of questions, the My Courses quizzes will automatically save those answers. So it's our best practice to have a certain number of questions per page. To do this, we're going to go to the quiz that we want to set the number of questions per page. So you click on Submission Review on the, on the nav bar and click Quizzes. Click on the name of the quiz we want to set the number of pages. In this case, it's Chapter 10 Quiz. We'll be taken to the Properties tab. And again, by def what we'd like to say is five questions per page. However, in this area where it says quiz questions and questions per page, since we only have two questions, we're going to choose one. And it's real important to click Apply. If you just click Save and Close, it doesn't apply it. I click Apply, and you'll notice this blue bar where the page break occurs. You'll also see a page column reflect the number of questions per page. So you'll see right here, page one, page two. When you're all done, go ahead and click Save and Close.